Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the monthly forecast for October 2017 for Sagittarius. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Um, I'm going to get straight on with this reading, but I just want to say before I start, if anybody wants a personal reading with me, could you please get in touch via my website? The link is below. Um, I'm away for a week of October, so my availability is limited. So if you do want to read, and they're starting to book up pretty quick, and like I say, I'm not, I haven't got my full availability, so it would be better to book sooner rather than later, and then you avoid disappoint. Sorry, disappointment. Okay. So right before I um before I look at your tarot, what, what I was picking up psychically around you, uh, Sagittarius, is I really feel you're going to be a little bit in your head this this week, month, okay? A little bit sort of conflicting, overthinking, overanalyzing, you know, it's like you're going to be thinking something and then thinking, why am I thinking that and why am I thinking that? And you could go into a little bit of a spiral, okay? So I want to say to you this month, really try and calm your monkey mind, okay? This, this is it because... I feel you could tie yourself here up in knots. It's fine to contemplate, but don't overanalyze. That is where your your problem could lie with this as well, you know, because you could get end up like tied up in knots in your thoughts and then, you know, it, it's just this big, big tangled mess. They're like showing me sort of like trying to unravel things. Some things don't have answers and th some things don't need answers as well, you know. Um, I really feel as well, if any of you meditate, this is going to be your best friend this month, okay? So really try and tap into source. Um, I don't know, right, okay, sorry, I don't know if the video stopped there. It did on mine. If it does, now go a little bit out of sync. That is that is why it is. But yeah, tap into source this month, okay? This is where you will find your strength. This is where you will find your security by tapping into your intuition, by connecting, by meditating and keeping yourself grounded, okay? Because like I say, it's all about security this month for you, uh, Sagittarius, okay? So security in a lot of different ways I feel so you're you're like entering this portal it's like this portal's opening for you where there's a lot of newness can come as well but it's quite empowering but I do feel you sort of feeling a little bit whoa like you know do do I enter through this and this could be where this over an analysis actually comes in and you could end up getting stuck you know analysis paralysis you know could actually come this month so forewarned is forearmed okay but when I'm looking at your cards, when I'm looking at your reading here, what I'm getting is I really feel this month is about you laying firm foundations, sort of getting yourself settled, getting yourself sorted, getting yourself like sort of in control of things okay feeling in control of your life you want to be happy you want this sort of the burdens lifted you want to be in the state of inner peace okay and you want security i feel there could be worries around money here as well but again i feel this could be overthinking you know i'm not seeing problems here for you okay but I feel that you could maybe focus on problems and that could actually bring them to you as well, you know, because I'm just seeing a few sleepless nights feeling like, you know, that you're fighting against the odds, you know, feeling disappointed, feeling maybe it's pretty hard on yourself as well, you know, this is what I'm getting, like beating yourself up and, you know, that you don't need to do this. You are coming into it. It, it. I sort of feel like you want to feel like you don't feel like a grown up. It's like, right, OK, I I do this quite a lot. <laughs> I, I done this last week. I had a, a situation going on and I was like, I need an adult. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm 44 years old. You know, I'm, I should feel like an adult now, but I don't. You know, I want somebody who's better an adult than me. Um, and this is what I sort of feel that you, you've got here, yeah, Sagittarius. But I do feel like that whatever you're doing now is going to sort of pave the way for you in the next six months. So please don't, please don't put blocks or stones on the road where they are none. You know, this, this is it. I don't see many big problems. I just feel that you are... I feel this is about not trusting yourself and not trusting your own judgment to be your own support and to be your own sort of advisor. This is what it is. It's like, you know, looking around for other people's opinions when really 
you are the only one that can keep yourself centered. You know your life better than most people. And like I say, tapping into spirit, tapping into source will help you to realize your own power and your own potential. So this, I want to, I want to sort of give you a little bit of a kick up the butt and say, Sagittarius, you are fabulous. You know, this, this is it. You're going to be okay because this is it. It's about the worry of, oh, what if I fail? What if I fail? But what if you succeed? That's where you need to change your thinking to, you know, because I do feel that you've made a decision and this decision may have given you a bit more responsibility, you know, but you can balance it. You can actually take control of this. So don't let this responsibility scare you. Let it empower you. Money wise, I feel you're going to be fine as well. I really feel sort of money wise, it's going to it's, it's going to be good, especially as we get into the next three weeks as well. Uh, the third week of October as well. And I really feel that there is a this this worry that you had at the beginning of the month is actually going to sort of dissipate and you're going to feel more proud of yourself you know by the time we we get uh, into the third week as well there could be a little bit mistrust around a, a relationship there could be a few arguments this could be a, re a relationship with family members or it could be a relationship with your partner as well and this could be about money or it could be about your security or something like that as well and you might be a little bit stubborn with this what i want to say is your stubborn could your stubbornness could lead to sadness okay so don't don't let your ego get involved with this as well you know because like i say this could be by talking with your loved ones about how you're feeling this could lead you to new ideas that will that will sort of strengthen your security strengthen your future whereas if you argue with them this could actually cause you more problems okay we're focusing on a happy home this is what we're looking at this this month sagittarius you know like i say bringing harmony in rather than discord okay bringing unity in rather than rather than seg segregation as well i'm so sorry and this is gonna you know it, it takes work you know everything takes work but like I say, there could be um, around a partner, there could be something that they don't tell you and then you find out about it and fly off the handle in some way as well. OK, so I'm just being saying being careful for that. There could be some harsh words around around relationships as well. But or, or what you could do is you you might actually it's saying here you might not say you might not feel you can voice what you want to say and this this sort of eats you up inside again with this this over analyzing so make sure for you to have your happiness this month sagittarius you need to be clear and concise in your com communication okay this will bring um, balancing don't assume anything okay don't assume because like i say things are good here I feel that there's an offer coming for you, though. This could be to a wedding. I don't think it's a proposal, but this could be to a wedding. This could be to a party or something like that. You could even be planning a one for somebody that's that's a little bit secret in some way as well. So that is coming in with a really, really good vibe as as well. But it's, it's like, I just, I want to say to you this month, what's coming through Sagittarius is please don't jump to conclusions. Okay. This is what I feel you could be guilty of this, this week, uh, this month, sorry, you know, uh, jump into conclusions as well. What I want you to do is use this creativity rather than in your imagination to sort of make things up that aren't good channel this creativity into something that is going to make you feel good and empower you okay because i feel there's a real artistic side coming out of you um there's like i say creating creating new ideas this could be a project that you're working on you know but there is success in this so allow your imagination to run wild but only in a positive direction okay once it starts to go in that negative you sort of snip snap it back into place okay this is it it's focusing on the positive here um i really feel as well some of you could get a cold or something like that towards about the third week in october and this could 
sort of like you know you you could spend a couple of days in bed or something like that just feeling a little bit under the weather um but i feel this is good because it's going to allow you to recoup your energy as well you know um i feel some of you could there's an air sign around you that i feel could be a little bit hard work this month okay they're gonna this could be around work or it could be around friends or family or something like that but this air sign is like they're going to try and make things a struggle for you they're gonna they're gonna like i don't know they can be quite demanding controlling you know it's like you know they're saying to you jump and i don't want you to say how high this is what i'm saying you know you are strong enough in yourself to be able to tackle this this person um i feel that there is some of you could be moving house or doing something to your house as well making it more of more of a home as well because i'm seeing seeing stuff around here with this um i want to say to you here make sure you turn gas switches off and stuff like that don't leave candles burning and things like that there seems to be a little bit of a chance of a a little like i'm saying like a little fire not a bad fire it's nothing bad it's nothing that is gonna you know be life-threatening or anything but they're just saying yeah or maybe even get your electrics checked in in your house if you've been having problems with your electric sagittarius get them checked get somebody just to come and look at them because it's better to be on the safe side i just see i'm seeing like a sort of a short fuse or a short circuit or some something like that <laughs> Or, or the electric board yeah or um yeah this this could be electricity companies make sure that you've paid them or there's something coming in around electricity okay that is coming in as just being saying be careful <laughs> yeah some of you might want to change electricity companies why the hell are they showing me this in a reading you know it's like come on give me some proper information here um so yeah sorry they've they've, they've, they've brought that they've brought that in um, I feel some of you as well could be around relationships. Some of you could have two possible suitors here, okay? Or you could be in a relationship and you could meet somebody else. Somebody who seems a little bit, one seems a little bit wishy-washy, head in the clouds, like, you know, nice. But the other one is somebody is more determined. So somebody could come in to your life this month okay with an offer of love but you might not be free to take it or like i say you could have two potential suitors that are very very different one could give you love and flowers and roses and picnics in the park and the other one could give you security for the rest of your life so it's going to be up to you which one you actually choose um i don't know if you could even date the two of them but this this is there's 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 three energies coming in around your around your relationships uh yes sagittarius this this month as well you know um and i feel this again could call cause indecision for you um but i feel this is to to bring about changes that are massively needed now this is up to you okay you can have either or okay i think having both of them could cause cause problems um but it's this is up to you and this is what i want to say within this full reading um sagittarius it's sorry it, it, it's i feel like it's been a bit disjointed here i feel like i'm feeling a little bit stressed and I'm wanting to sort of like rub my temples here as well because I'm like, oh God, you know, when you get, you get that stress. I want to say to you, this month is going to be a good month for you, okay? There's a lot of security coming for you, a lot of success in whatever endeavors you are doing. But the only warning that is coming within this is getting into your head, okay? Like I say, love life, it's up to you. You are the one in control with this. Family life, you, you know, be nice to everybody. Be nice and kind and everything will go accordingly. But like I say, if you resist too much Sagittarius, then this can actually cause problems and you will find other people then resist against you. So it's like sort of, you know, it's like magnets repelling rather than actually coming together, okay? So like I say, don't assume anything. Be careful when that you don't over overthink be careful that you don't um 
overanalyze and be careful that you don't take something in in a way that it wasn't meant to as well okay but apart from that i feel this is it's actually going to be a great great month yet and i really want to give you you to give yourself credit for how strong you are as well you know you are making good headway you are making good plans yes this month it's going to be nothing massive and you know life changing for you like some of the other signs but it's slow and steady wins the race sagittarius this is what i'm getting for you this this month okay and don't worry about money in fact don't worry about anything everything is going to be all right okay um what's that song yeah is it who who sang it don't worry be happy yeah that, that that's what they're bringing in there that's all you have to do this month sagittarius don't worry be happy okay if anybody would like a personal reading with me please get in touch via my website the link is below and have a fabulous stress-free month sagittarius satnam